I all, so in this exercise we'll be creating an Ubuntu virtual machine on a local laptop here so we'll be performing this first four steps here so for first three uh, steps you need to actually download uh, Oracle VirtualBox 5.1 or the latest version of the hypervisor so Oracle VirtualBox is a type 2 hypervisor and uh, we would have to install the Oracle VirtualBox extension pack and then download this Ubuntu 16.04 LTS image which is the latest uh, Ubuntu version as of now so I would assume you will uh, do perform the all first three steps on your own and let me guide you through the four steps that's actually launching Ubuntu VM using Oracle virtual okay so I'll be just going to the after installing Oracle virtual box you should see this icon and as you open it uh, in your case you might not have any virtual machine listed here uh, as I am using other VMs you can see multiple VMs here so what we will do is uh, click new and uh, create a new VM so we will give any name here maybe say my Ubuntu VM uh, the type is Linux and uh, the version you would have to select is Ubuntu 64 bit in some cases uh, you might only see the options for 32 bit that's because the 64 bit virtualization support is not enabled on your laptop so in that case just follow uh, some guidelines to enable these uh, 64 bit virtualization support uh, you can check whether your machine is a 64 bit or 32 bit by just going into either my computer properties or if you are using windows 10 then just do something like this go to the properties and you can see here this is a 64 bit operating system okay so uh, with that uh, you just fill in these details say next and you should allocate uh, a sufficient memory here you can see 1024 MB like almost 1 GB of uh, RAM I'm giving then uh, you should have a create virtual hard disk now and the recommended size is 10 GB so don't worry it won't mess up anything on your existing uh, hard disk it will create a virtual hard disk for this particular VM we will say create go with the default options next it's a dynamically allocated disk and uh, then the file and size you can keep the same all default the size of this VM could be 10 GB or if you want you can increase it to 20 GB if you want to do store a lot of files in this VM if you see that you'll be using this VM for a long time then you may want to allocate more space and you just say create okay the next step uh, after creating this VM we need to set few network adapters so select this VM go to settings here you will see various options just go to the network and here you will by default see enable the network adapter and NAT so basically NAT adapter is required for this VM to access the internet that means if you want to install some packages on this VM uh, using this um, yum or abdicate from the public repositories then you can do that even you can connect to the Google so any kind of internet connectivity you need from this VM then you need a NAT adapter and we will also enable another adapter which is called host only adapter and typically this is required for uh, so that you can connect from your Windows laptop to this VM right or for example suppose you launch multiple vms here as you can see in my screen there are four or five vms so if i have the host only adapter then all these vms can talk to each other they can connect to each other because uh, with host only adapter uh, it creates a virtual adapter and virtual lan uh, for all these machines so that they get a ip from a private ip range and then you can talk uh, to these machines internally so we will also have this option because ultimately we want to connect to this VM over putty from my windows laptop so I'm just enabling that settings okay and now uh, what I need to do is I need to actually load this VM with the Ubuntu image so I'll say start And here 
I would see this Ubuntu VM so I'll just click here and just redirect it to wherever you have this Ubuntu 16.04 LTS image so I'm just selecting the image I say open I say start so this will now load the ISO image and will ask you whether you want to install the Ubuntu or you want to try Ubuntu so we have to actually install the Ubuntu so just let's wait for few seconds okay as you get this screen uh, you will see you get two options so we have to actually install the ubuntu so i'll just click ubuntu install ubuntu and just go with the default options you don't want to download updates anything so just continue yes go with all the default options so erase disk and install ubuntu so this disk is actually about that virtual disk that it created so it does not really erase anything on your existing file system that you have on Windows so don't worry let's say install now yes continue okay continue okay so here you have to provide the username with which you will be logging in and also your user details so your name you can put anything and uh, the username you can give your name or a ubuntu or anything user friendly and here you will give the password so remember this password because uh, without this password you won't be able to log into your machine so this is your username for this Ubuntu machine and this is a an password. Let's say continue. And now it will actually start installing the Ubuntu operating system. So let me pause this video for a couple of minutes and let this uh, installation to finish. Okay, as you can see the installation is completed and you will see this message and you would have to restart your machine once so I'm just clicking the restart now so this will restart this machine just enter Okay, so here you see the login screen and you should enter your password and it you, you should see your uh, screen with the default icons okay so you should see this login screen and uh, we just want to check what is IP of this machine so go here and search for a terminal this is a terminal just log into the terminal and uh, just fire a command ip config i have config and here you will see this ethernet address so this is the ip of this machine so in the next video we will see how to connect to 
this uh, Ubuntu VM from your uh, Windows laptop using Putty. Uh, otherwise, you can anyways just uh, get into the machine in this way and just open the terminal from here. But uh, using Putty is a bit user friendly. Okay. Uh, now just I'm showing how to shut down this machine. So you'll exit from all your screen and here is a small icon on the right side. Here you will say shut down. And you just press the shutdown. The VM will be shut down. And uh, you will see that in the virtual machine it should show power off. And the next time you want to start the VM you will say just start. So I think that's it for uh, installing the Ubuntu VM uh, using Oracle VirtualBox. Thank you for watching.